This is Lee, and the Assassin Build video number two, showing how to build the toughest plane on the planet. I unpinned the elevons after painting. Now we're going to laminate. Before lamination, the elevons are extremely flexible. You can tie them in a knot. After laminating, they're as stiff as if they were made with balsa. I like to lay my laminate out on a cutting board and then lay it over the elevon that I'm going to cover and iron it so I get a straight seam. And as you see, I'm just rolling the elevon and ironing as I roll it down the laminate. Constantly working the laminate wrinkles away from the fold. Now if you get this too hot, it'll start to stick. And you'll notice that uh, in this particular case, it's stuck and uh, have to go back and peel it back a little bit. But just iron it in. Now, without real scientific cutting, I just go and trim every corner and every angle you got to realize that there's three layers of laminate here and I just iron them all at once and fold them in and trim them. And one side laminates over the top of the other. Now we're going to do the wing. I go down the wing with a single stroke down the middle and then from that middle I work my way to the edges. I can actually do this fairly quickly there's a certain touch to it. Make sure your iron's the right temperature and it doesn't change the shape of your foam. Once again, we get to the corners. We've got to trim anywhere there's a bend or an angle. And then we start folding it over and just wrap those edges. You want to overlap at the front. It actually adds strength to the front of the wing. Two layers of three, lam three mil laminate is about the same as uh, six mil laminate. So it adds strength to the nose of the plane to have an overlap of the nose. And then you just work your way around. Stretching it as you go and ironing it in place. Trimming off the excess and then ironing down any edge you've got. The laminate is important to the model because it's a shield that prevents the UV light from reaching the model. And UV light can break down both the EPP foam over long periods of time, but the extreme tape, it can break down over three or four months. So uh, the laminate is a UV shield that is important to the model. You'll notice as I flipped it over and I'm now working on the bottom that I did the same thing, a stroke down the middle and then work to the edges. And I'm going to take the scissors and split to any place there's a corner so that I can fold it up in a straight line. In this case I need to trim off some of the extra laminate. Because the laminate is clear you can't even see the seam. I'm not so concerned that I have an absolutely perfect cut there although many times I will use a straight edge to make a, very, a better cut than that. Folding now for the corners. This is exactly the same if you were going to use fins except you're going to not have those corners to work with. And then folding up is stretching it as we iron the back edge. Trim off the excess. This will all be under the hinge line too here. And then take the iron and seal all down all the edges. Now we're going to make the hinge with extreme tape. I need two pieces, the length of the elevon. I'm going to split these in half, make four strips one inch wide. Use a new razor blade, split the tape. Fill the tape and put it halfway over the seam line. Trim the edges. Then bend the elevon down as you tape it so that the elevon will still go down and stick it to the back of the wing. 
Let's do the other one. Trim the edge. Fold it down as you do it. See how I lift the plane up and then just press it down. It gives you movement in the elbow. Now we're going to split the other piece of tape. This goes on the bottom of the hinge joint. So we're going to fold the hinge over on the bottom of the hinge joint. We stick this piece of tape and trim it off to length. Let's do the other side. These hinges add a lot of strength to the wing. Putting this extreme tape along this trailing edge makes it very strong. You'll find though that the elephants flex upwards after they get that on, but we'll iron them down in a minute. We're going to cut some laminate, four two inch pieces, which we're going to iron over the extreme tape so that the extreme tape won't be exposed to the UV light. We're putting on a light shield right here. And it also helps to blend the colors together if you've got paint underneath. The hinge line is not so apparent uh, after it's got the laminate over the top. Then we do the same thing to the bottom. Blend it down, make sure your seams are tight and they don't, aren't going to peel up. Then trim the edges. Now the hint, the elevon is going to want to poke up here a little bit. What we're going to do is we're going to bend it down and iron that hinge with everything on it. After we've ironed it for just a moment, that hinge will loosen up and it will lay flat. Let's do the other side. Laminate it on the top. Iron it down, trim the edges, flip it up. We're going to do the bottom side now. Iron the center of the laminate, iron it down the bottom, and seal the edges. And then trim the excess on the ends. And then we're going to flex it, push it down, and iron it so that it lays flat. Thanks for watching. This is the end of video two. There are other videos to watch to show the rest of the build. This is Lee with Crash Test Hobby.